Dan Moskal here, and in this video we're going to talk about putting a Facebook like button or a Facebook page button uh, recommendation, how you can put the Facebook box on your website, whether you're using a blogger website or we're going to put it on our WordPress website uh, and we're going to have it go to our Facebook page. Um, this will help you get more likes and as you're probably aware the search engines are now using social signs when it comes to ranking your website. So uh, go and I would recommend searching in Google Facebook badge or Facebook button and we're gonna go ahead whoops. and what we like to do you can obviously pick that if you want but we're gonna go down here and click get our social plugins because there's one that we uh, like a little bit better here's some options you know for the follow button recommendations blah 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 we want to get the like box for our website I would recommend playing around with a couple of these and seeing what you like best and what really works best with your website uh, and we actually probably won't do this because if you see this the minimum supported plugin width is 292 um, for the website we're going to stick it on I think ours is a little bit smaller than 292 I think our width is like 250 there um, so we're going to choose a different one so we can actually make it look okay on this uh, example um, let's do the follow button how about that one I don't see any minimum so we're gonna do a width of 250 just to make it easy and this is one of the things profile URL I wonder if we're going to be able to do this with a page. Uh, we'll see. Sorry, where'd my... Here's our page URL. We're going to see if this is going to work. But the profile URL, this is where you actually personalize it and make it specific to yours. Yep, it looks great. So here's uh, just some different options and I like the standard uh, obviously the color scheme and uh, we'll just leave it as is we're gonna hit get code that's kind of the special button so you can do uh, the JavaScript here I think we're gonna um, see if this will grab it. We might have to uh, also plug this in on your page once, ideally right after the body tag. All right, we're going to go ahead and just try this and uh, see what happens, and I think we'll be fine. It shouldn't be any problem. So we're going to go to our WordPress website. We're going to go over, and we're going to put it in as a widget on the sidebar. We're going to uh, try a text to start with, and we're going to put it just right at the very top. Now if you have uh, the WordPress cache enabled like we do, you're not going to see it right away. And I'm curious if we uh, are going to see it at all. Nope. Yeah, there we go. Okay, great. Awesome. Cool. So that's all there is. That's just a different choice that we are seeing. So if you see here, these are different options and ways to uh, plug this in. Um, I'll do an update should we need this, but it looks like you can just copy this bottom one, or if you want to use something else, then you would copy this other code. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just double check this before we uh, 
share this video you could use an iframe if you wanted or use this URL to in an iframe or as a link to your plugin. It looks like there's some different options but all we copied was this and plugged it in and as you can see it's right here on our website so let's just make sure yeah we'd have to log in and then once we logged in we'd be able to uh, follow it it looks like so we're gonna uh, double check here before we publish this video uh, just to make sure but that looks like it's that easy and uh, if you want to see how to put the uh, Google plus button on your website check out uh, our other channel or our other video <laughs> sorry we just did the uh, Google plus right here if you want that and then we just did the Facebook one here in this video so we want to make sure you can put both of them on them on your website and don't have any problems if you're using blogger this is going to be in your HTML JavaScript you're gonna to have to paste that code in and you can put it wherever you want you don't have to put it in your widgets area either so check out some of our other uh, videos on our channel please comment below let us know if you have any problems we're here to help and this is Dan Moskley you can visit danmoskleyuniversity.com for some more tips you can also grab a copy of our book how to create a website easy button available at Amazon and please like this video and share it with your friends family and colleagues and have a wonderful afternoon